Yeah, we're here at Super Bowl Sunday, live on the 802. I'm Mark Pedersen, one of your hosts and my co-host this afternoon. Ryan Todd. I'm usually the guy behind the camera, and uh, <laughs> I decided to step out here and, and shoot the breeze with Mark today. So Come and shoot the SH. Double hockey. Uh, double ash. X, whatever you want to call it. Yes, He's sir. He's usually the guy that makes me look good out here. Speaking of looking good, though, I got my New York Giants hat on right now. Got to tell you. I'm not wearing Patriots gear because I'm a little ashamed of how they performed at the end of the season there. Uh, that was actually our last Super Bowl show was then. Yeah. It was that long ago. Yeah, I kept putting Pat's, Pat's logos up brr, all over brr, your face. Brr, brr. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, though, we got some props on the table I just thought was really ironic digging these up when we were talking about uh, doing a little Super Bowl blurb and about uh, the game itself, you know, and, and how we, we love it and enjoy it so much and that uh, football is one of those few sports that no matter who you are, there's a place for you on the field, whether you're short, you're tall, you're skinny, you ride fat, the bench, you're smart, you're stupid, you're slow, you're fast, whatever it may be, no matter who you are, there's a position somewhere on the field for you. And, and it's a, a very unique sport from that. But looking at the helmets that are here and I laughed, I said, bringing up my old high school helmet. This is uh, from Bunnell High School in Stratford, Connecticut. And you can see by how banged up it was, how we played the game in 1985. <laughs> Versus over here, I've got my son's high school helmet from 2015. That's uh, St. Joe's High School in Trumbull, Connecticut, which, uh, by the way, they were, again, state champions this year in football. Uh, FCAC champions, yeah, they knocked it out. Well, this just beat, proves that the Pedersons get smarter. In the, in the state championship game, which was unbelievable <laughs> for all my Madison friends, my former UConn teammates that might be watching right now. But, uh, yeah, so you can see how it's changed so much. You know, the whole thing with uh, concussion protocol and, and all the stuff that's in the news that we're really paying attention to and all the things that the NFL is making huge strides technology-wise to do the best thing they can do to protect our players. Yeah. Uh, not just their heads, but their whole bodies in general. But it's come a real long way, and this is just like one example of what it was like, you know, then versus now, as we like to say, that it, it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. You know, Leading with your head and, and you know, and leading with your body. With your yeah, head. exactly. Yeah, using your shoulders. Right. But, uh, but yeah, so that's where we've got these little fun things right out here in front. And then I also brought in this special football. It's really special to me before we get into our Super Bowl talks. But this one's got a whole bunch of autographs on it. And this is that's actually cool. my son's uh, team up at Cornell. Uh, he graduated from there last spring. And uh, the boys all got a chance to give away a football. They have a, a special uh, honorary football that they give out to an important person in their lives. And uh, Lars had written this one up for me, and it says on it, it says, Dad, it says, <laughs> it gets me all choked up every time I read it. <laughs> Don't do it. It says, you are the reason why I'm here, why I play this game, why I'm the man I am today, and why I keep going. Love your son, Lars. And I'll tell you, this game never stops giving back, never stops giving back. And it's stuff like that that just further, uh, what do you want to call it, emphasizes it or reinforces it. Right. It's, uh, it's amazing. Life skills out of the football field. Absolutely. But anyway, let's talk about this Sunday, dude. Mahomes, Garoppolo. You're Mahomes. Uh, Garoppolo, I got to tell you right now. Let's hear it. I, I think Mahomes is the better athlete. That's my opinion. And yeah. my, my question to it all is, as long as they can keep him in space, he's going to be successful. If they can contain him, then they got problems. Exactly. As far as Garofalo goes, I've seen three games that kind of got down to the wire for San Fran this year, and I noticed in all three that Jimmy doesn't do well under pressure when, yeah. when it's like, I've got to win the game for my team. Right. Uh, I, he takes I, he takes after his protege there is uh, yeah, yeah. His, his his teacher <laughs> a little bit this this season you know this is kind of what it's looking like but uh, uh, but it just doesn't seem like if they can get his back against the wall that he'll be able to pull them out that would be the trigger for me yeah uh, I think the 49ers are a much more solid team all around special teams defense offensive weapons cohesive offensive line. Uh, can run the ball at will with guys that you don't necessarily know, you know, brand names, if you will. Yeah. Uh, but that's what we need to look at as the lines. You, you mentioned that. I mean, that's that's huge. Yeah. Is your offense and defensive liner. And yeah. in this game, I think, are really going to come down to the wire. And, and, you know, who comes out on top? So containing Mahomes and Jimmy G's got a 
show up for the occasion. He's got a knot. Yeah, he can't choke it out. One of those. Can't yeah. choke it out. Can't yeah, choke exactly. It, out. it was some interesting stuff, though, like going into this this year, how uh, we're saying, like, San Fran, believe it or not, for, you know, a lot of the younger people that are, you know, been wowed and, and impressed by the Pats and the things that they've done, you know, over the last decade. But, I mean, it's it's kind of like in the wings when you, when you go San Francisco 49ers also have five Super Bowl championships. Right. They're forgetting about all those days from 85 yeah. to, like, 91 when – when yep. they were just smashing everybody. They was, were the real deal between, yeah. you know, Joe Montana and Steve Young, you know, taking yep. him around in his backseat. But, I mean, they're ready to go right out there and go make it tied up, you know, with the Pats and go to six Super Bowl wins if they pull this off. Yep. You know, I mean, obviously the Steelers are sitting in there with them too, as we all know. But do you think the rookie coach, like Shanahan's first debut at the Super Bowl, I'm not saying he's rookie coach, but his first debut at the Super Bowl is going to have a lot of pressure on him? And Or do you think he's just going to come in cool and collected? I, I think that head coaches in the NFL deal with so many pressures that we have yeah. no idea about. Yeah. Um, as far as getting to the big stage, it's got to obviously give you some butterflies. If you don't get him, then you're not human. Uh, do I think that he's going to be able to stay focused? I'm sure that he is going to be coaching his boys the same way that he's coached them all year. Why change anything if it's not broken? You know. Yeah. Uh, as far as how the game goes, adversity comes in all shapes and sizes during a football game. You know, the highs and the lows of it all, and you just got to be prepared and poised and, and stay the course. Stick with what works. I think Kyle's going to do a great job. Yeah. I think he's going to do a great job. Yeah. You know, then you go to the other side of the coin and you go, the master is over there. The man, yeah. the myth, the legend. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one of the, the most, uh, what do you want to say, accomplished football minds yeah. that are currently in the NFL at head coaching. Uh, you know, Andy's been around a long time. and man, Up there oh, with man, Parcells was, to, yeah. Yeah, seems to find a way. To make it happen but the chiefs you know uh, i believe here in our stats somewhere they've, they've only won i was surprised only one super bowl that one super bowl appearance and one win yeah uh versus the vikings i'm sure all the coverage that's out there everybody's got a lot more to say about it than we did <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> those those professional analysts with all the people in the back room you yeah. know was, i know where's our earbud telling us what to say <laughs> she's back there switching right now doing my job but but i will do the uh, do the honors so, so what is this allegedly happened yesterday with Tom Brady? Yeah, the, well, you want to? Is it really good? Go ahead. I don't, well, I don't know. I mean, 70 million for, for what he was <laughs> making for a two-year contract. Uh, sources say. That's all yeah. I got to say. Allegedly, sources say. for two years? I don't know. It's like I don't insane. Know about that. Yeah. Did he walk in and just say, hey, you know what? I just want to make more money than my wife does for a year. Maybe maybe there's an <laughs> added zero to that stat, right? Yeah, maybe yeah. someone someone hit a typo with a fat finger or something on that. So. Well, I mean, you know, you go back, I think it's like over the last like five years where he's actually taking pay cuts, Yeah. you know, so they can make more room in the cap and you know, bring other players on. And maybe he's ready to say, hey, you know what? This is, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I what I need. Louis Vuitton's getting expensive. To make me go. <laughs> <laughs> for more power to Tom. You know, I mean, hey, if you can get the money out of him, have at it. Yep. You know, I mean, the guy's definitely one of the most decorated quarterbacks in history of the game and probably the best. Yeah. But uh, on another note, though, on my side of the table, we had the wonderful experience last Friday of uh, watching Eli going into retirement as well and uh, talk about it, just a class guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Uh, the the last game at home both, yeah. for him, yeah, that last game at home for him to watch him be able to walk into the Tuttle uh, and have his family there waiting for him after your final win on your home field with you at the helm, uh, you know, it was just fantastic for him. You wish yeah. him nothing but the best the guy. If you got something bad to say about Eli, then you need to be looking in the mirror at yourself. All right. You know? And the nice thing, too, is he's coming out fairly unscathed as opposed to Peyton with all the neck injuries and everything. He's, he's True. fairly healthy, you know, retiring at his age. And he's yeah, I, I agree with you on that. You know, get out while the getting's good, so to speak. Yeah. But uh, everybody has an expiration date, yep. you know, and there's just time that we all move on from the game and then participate in it in a different way. Yeah, how old is he? He's 39. Jeez. Yeah. Young. I know it sounds crazy. He's got a whole right? other life. You yeah. Know? <laughs> it's awesome. He's got a bunch of little kids. He's got plenty of life to deal with. All right. All right. We got to wrap this up. Yeah. Stack of cash on the table. Who do we got? 49ers or chefs? What is the line right now? Do you even know what the I don't even know. No. I, even I gotta call my bookie. To continue to change. She's in the booth over there, isn't she? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, no points aside, just straight up. I believe that the 49ers will will rise to the occasion and get it done. I just think that that defensive front is gonna be unstoppable. Yeah. With two weeks rest, we saw what they how they played their first game of the playoffs with two weeks rest. Right. They're like a new team. Or they they went into playoffs number two defense and then came out. 
Uh, I believe they were. Yeah. yeah, it's somewhere in here. In yeah, the yeah, stats. Yeah. I can't manage all this stuff. In yeah, front. I, don't know. I just it's, know what I know. Yeah, <laughs> no, but their de- that's what I'm saying. Is their defense is going to be is going to be hard. They're, yeah. they're going to be hard to throw against. They're going to be hard to run against. It's. Yeah, it's that front four. That front yeah. four. It's going to be a low storm. They got to contain him. I think that'll be the key to it. But I like I like the 49ers. So. Yeah. You going with the chefs? I'll go with the chefs. I'll put I'll put a hundred <laughs> down on it. We're talking about the she- Chiefs. I mean, you know, on paper looks like gonna, chefs. I'll tell you, I'll bet you five large. Five large? Right now, five large. I don't know, that's, I don't got Come that. Come on, five bucks? You don't get oh, five, five bucks? Oh, five bucks. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking five grand on air here. Five bucks. I got, I got the Niners. <laughs> no over, under, spread. None of that makes just no. straight up. All right. All right, man. Hey, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Go Niners. Go chefs. Get it up tall. Bam. <laughs>